Hello everyone and welcome to a beautiful game that just happened uh, in the European Paris Blitz tournament. It is Shan Sargisyan, 21 year old Armenian Grandmaster versus Yang Shishtov Duda. And uh, as the title suggests, uh, a queen sacrifice um, uh, is being used to crush the London system. Now, uh, if some of you have seen my tutorial on how to defeat the London system, I uh, suggested um, uh, for black to go for knight to f6, c5, and the immediate queen to b6. Uh, Duda throws in an additional d5 knight to c6, uh, and then goes queen to b6, and then uh, goes after the b2 pawn. And for those of you who have seen my tutorial on how to play against the London system, you know that sometimes it's okay to grab the b2 pawn sometimes it most certainly is not okay to grab the b2 pawn and here the b2 pawn will be captured now let's see what happened here and why this is so incredible and the one of the uh, problems for uh, Sarg uh, Sargsyan uh, is that Yang Shishtov uh, has already played this exact same game up to a certain point uh, two years ago, but we're gonna uh, discuss that when we reach it. So pawn to d4, we have knight to f6, knight to f3 and d5 now. Uh, we have bishop to f4, opting for the London system, uh, and only now pawn to c5. We have e3, knight to c6, knight b to d2, and only now queen to b6. So going after the b2 pawn, and as usual, white very happily offers the pawn. D captures on c5. Now, either invites the queen to capture on c5, or you go after the b2 pawn like you prepared. So do the captures at queen captures on b2. Rook to b1, and now queen to c3. You could even capture the pawn, but uh, the engine says queen c3 is the best move, and so everyone plays queen to c3 here. Uh, bishop to b5, and now pawn to g6. Preparing bishop to g7, castles kingside, and so on. We have pawn to e4, and now d captures on e4. We have bishop to e5, attacking the queen, and queen to a5. And here we have castles, offering the knight on f3, uh, but as you'll see, it's not that easy to keep the material. We if e captures on f3 by Duda, remember this is all still theory, queen captures on f3, and now how do you continue? Uh, you've given up a piece, but bishop captures on c6 is a, is a pretty big problem. Point is that, uh, okay, if black really wants, black can continue just developing bishop g7, then you capture on c6, but you can't capture back. This is the piece you've uh, given back because you're already up a piece. You have to play king to f8, and after bishop captures on b7, bishop captures, you're going to play queen, captures, attack the rook, the rook moves to e8, and now knight to b3, let's say attacks the queen, queen captures on a2 and pawn to c6. Uh, it's wh whether you can survive against this past c pawn, I mean, even if you can, you're just going to suffer for, for a very long time long time. So instead, Duda plays queen captures on b5, a beautiful queen offering. You've already uh, captured one piece, so now you uh, capture another one uh, for the price of a queen. Uh, and how do you reply to this? If uh, the queen is captured, then you grab the third piece, knight captures on e5. So uh, maybe there's a better way. First, instead of this, uh, bishop captures on f6. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want this um, uh, bishop to remain a target on e5. And now uh, the problem is if you just move the queen, let's say queen to a5. Now comes okay. You want to capture the knight first. Knight will come to b3, attack the queen, and only when the queen moves, the bishop captures on h8. And uh, well, either black is lost or maybe black can hold this with a move like f6. Uh, so instead, after bishop captures on f6, Duda now forces uh, the trade, or rather the the, the queen sacrifice queen captures on f1 with check and okay you have to capture and this is uh, where we, we we reach the point that duda already had two years ago in the 23rd european team championship uh, but his opponent uh, uh, tamir nabati uh, played king captures on f1 here we have rook captures on f1 and it is now as of move 14 that we have a completely new game so e captures on f6 Queen captures, attacks Duda's rook on h8, and now rook to g8. We have rook to e1 with check, and it seems like uh, Duda is in a pretty bad spot, but just bishop to e7, not a problem. We have knight to c4, now surely Duda is completely lost. The knight is coming to d6, then queen captures on f7. Uh, nope, Duda just plays king to f8, and now bishop captures on f6 becomes a threat. The bishop is no longer pinned. So here, queen to f4, and now king to g7. Uh, we have rook captures on e7. Uh, here you could continue with knight to d6, probably it's objectively best, and then if, okay, you capture, uh, which you probably will, you don't want this um, uh, here uh, pawn, pawn to be under attack, and if you play bishop to e6, then also the b7 pawn hangs, so probably something like this, and then maybe if white can get a defended pass pawn on d6, maybe white can play this, but black can always undermine it with b6, it doesn't look all that promising. So instead, after king g7, rook captures on e7 by shunt, and now uh, knight captures on e7. We have 
queen to e5 with check. Now the king has to go back to f8, defend the knight, but now the rook is still out of the game. So Duda has to solve this uh, problem, how to get his pieces into the game. We have queen to d6, now pinning the knight as well. Bishop to e6, and now knight to a5, going after the b7 pawn, but just bishop to d5. And it's not that easy to... Uh, to, to figure out how to go about this with pawn to h4 uh, here Sean says if he can get his pawn all the way to h6 maybe he can uh, you know uh, stir some trouble here on the king side uh, but just uh, pawn to b6 we have pawn to c4 now uh, challenges the bishop still hopes uh, to, to get the pawn uh, all the way to c7 to create a pass pawn uh, but now Duda plays bishop captures on g2 we have king captures b captures on a5 and now pawn to c6 the pass pawn has been created uh, but the question remains, even if you continue pushing the pawn, how is the pawn ever to reach the c8 square? That's, uh, that's a pretty big uh, big problem. Uh, one thing, okay, maybe, yeah, the, the, I mean, it, it's just impossible. Uh, the, uh, the king for the moment cannot move, uh, but after rook to e8, king to g7 is now prepared, the knight is defended, and your uh, rooks will connect. We have pawn to c7, uh, but now king to g7. And the problem is uh, there's never any realistic hope of that pawn ever reaching that uh, c8 square. So this is not white pushing for a win because white is up a queen. No, not at all. White is down with material. Two rooks and the knight are much better than a queen. Okay, white does have the pass pawn on the 7th rank, but I mean, how are you touching the c8 square, like we said? So queen to d4 check. Uh, pawn to f6, uh, Duda cannot allow any, any perpetuals to uh, be even in the discussion. We have queen captures on a7 and now knight to c8, blocking the pawn, attacking the queen. Queen captures on a5 and now just rook g to f8. And now the plan is, of course, put the rook on the 7th rank uh, or maybe both of them capture the pawn and that's pretty much all of white's counterplay uh, just gone. So pawn to a4, uh, here Shant continues uh, with his advance. He pushes the past a pawn, rook to e7 and now queen queen to c5. Uh, we have rook f to f7, no need to rush anything, let's just prepare the capture. Pawn to a5 and the rook captures on c7. We have queen to d5, rook f to d7 and queen to e6. Now comes rook to e7, uh, we repeat once, rook f to d7, queen to e6, but of course Duda will not repeat, rook to d6. Completely controls now uh, all, of, all of the squares. Uh, we have queen to e4 and now pawn to h5, not allowing uh, Shant to create any uh, problems for him on the king side. We have pawn to c5 and just rook d to c6. Here the idea behind the um, uh, this pawn offering is that if you capture, uh, you can uh, maybe queen to b7 with check. And now after the king moves, now pawn to a6. And uh, still black is completely winning here, but only if you play rook to b6. Any other move and white will be able to draw. So that's um, uh, probably the, the attempt here. Rook d to c6 was played with queen to e3, but now just a rook captures on c5. Do that leaves no option options open for uh for shunt uh pawn to a6 and now just a rook 5 to c6 we have queen to f4 now of course if you capture you you blunder the rook on c7 uh, but just rook to a7 we have queen to b4 uh, and now rook c captures on a6 no counterplay here queen c4 we have knight to e7 queen to d4 and now knight to f5 and he was in this position on move 45 uh, that shan sarxian resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. So he's uh, uh, down. Uh, okay, sometimes maybe the queen can fight the two rooks if you have, uh, you know, a, a safe king and maybe you have a, you have a pass pawn that you can push. Uh, but here against two rooks and the knight and also being down a pawn, this is, of course, completely unplayable. And now there is um, uh, no chance for Duda even to, to mess anything up. So here he just uh, resigned the game. Now, yeah, it's uh, pr pretty incredible. And uh, you always have to be very, very careful in uh, these lines of the London system like I've shown in my uh, in my tutorial when the queen goes after the b2 pawn uh, I I played in blitz uh, but you know sometimes uh, my queen gets trapped sometimes I you know get, get out safely and then I'm just completely winning uh, here if, if you if you guys enjoy playing with your queen on b6 also a line that you you, <laughs> you should know uh, it is possible to you know sacrifice some material give up your queen even and uh, you know have a, have an excellent game uh, Duda already uh, has uh, proven it twice okay First, uh, he got a draw two years ago, uh, but now a beautiful uh, win. Uh, so hope you hope you enjoyed that. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, always uh, enjoyable when someone crushes the, the London system. Uh, uh, and I'm always very happy to show it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Andrei Lushnikov, Mark Levkovitz, uh, Dipanchu Verma, uh, Brian Baker, and Dan McCormick for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Uh, continuing to check up on this um, uh, wonderful tournament as uh, we also have the women's section and the, their... Uh, there's been quite a showing there as well uh, so we are going to check that out next uh, so thank you all i will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day